is Ute Rakhorn and I have been a lens baby enthusiast and photographer for many years. For the last three months I had the honor to work with the Lens Baby Camera Obscura and today I want to take you on a journey. I want to talk about my experience and about what I learned during these last three months when I discovered pinhole photography. Are you new to pinhole photography? Well, it was a completely new world for me. And um, initially I started doing landscape photography because that's what I had um, seen what other photographers had done. And it seemed to be the genre for pinhole photography. So as you can see here, I did long exposures. I took the camera to the ocean. I work with a tripod. I work with an exposure meter. And I created work that um, had that vintage feel and I kind of liked that, but I also felt like it liked my voice. Nevertheless, I continued to explore. So I took the camera everywhere and um, I used it under different light conditions. I used all the different settings. So I was using the 50 millimeter version of the camera obscura. You have three aperture settings. Um, you can choose between F, 32, 64, or 161. Yes, you heard that correctly, 161. What that means is that very little light comes into your camera through the very small aperture opening. And with that, you can work during daytime. You do not need neutral density filters for um, longer exposures. This image, for example, or this one, they were taken around lunchtime. And I didn't have to use any kind of filter. I um, just moved the camera at 161. At f161, you can um, create beautiful, intentional camera movement. I took it to the botanical garden. Um, and I tried all kind of things. Um, some results surprised me. Um, what I saw after a while was that my way of work, photography, or my way of um, composition, my way of seeing light changed. So my usual photography didn't work anymore. Um, lens, uh, pinhole photography during golden hour um, isn't what worked for me because I didn't like to use the tripod. Um, but lunchtime light, when there's a lot of light, that um, gave me good results. And that actually intrigued me and made me um, work a little harder. And I um, saw a huge change in how I thought about my work and what I photographed. Um, you cannot see through the viewfinder because it is mostly dark and you will see very little when you work with the back screen of your camera. So you basically rely on your um, instinct for composition. And that after a while, first I found it frustrating, but after a while I found out that it gave me a lot of freedom. I didn't worry about rules of third anymore. I wasn't constantly double checking on the back of my um, camera. I was more in the moment and an image like this, the joy or this one, the contrast of colors, um, that was something that I hadn't done before. And I, well, this one's a double exposure. This one I took um, very low to the ground and I love how the flower is actually not in focus, but you see how it's moving in the wind. Um, with these high aperture settings, you also have a lot of depth of field. So you see every leaf, you see every flower and um, every cloud and every detail. And that is quite fascinating. Um, so I continued to try all this and I think this image here with all the movement was the one that surprised me most and made me um, come up with the idea of taking the camera obscura to the next level. I took it to the desert and I um, worked with, with my daughter and um, we took portraits and uh, we worked with the landscape. And I was really surprised by how freeing the experience was. Usually I, I tend to check um, um, all the rules of photography. Um, there seems to be a right and wrong way to take an image or I 
also often use a wide aperture to um, work around the proper composition because sometimes you can get away with with the beautiful bokeh. Um, with the lens baby camera obscura, you cannot get away with that. You really need to pay a lot of attention to your composition, a lot of attention to what is in the frame, what do you want to be in the frame, because no matter what is in the frame, you will be able to see it. Um, you also need to pay attention to colors because um, you cannot get away with bokeh, you know, so instead you really start thinking about colors, how do they go together and um, how do I want to present my subject and uh, what do I want to be in the frame? And um, it was a very liberating experience. But all that only happened after working this thing hard and, and letting go of um, expectations that I had had until then. So if you're looking for a new way of expressing yourself or let's say a good challenge to um, break up with rules or a certain way that you approach photography the camera obscura is your friend it's um it can be frustrating at first i want to be honest here but the freedom that you eventually will find in this kind of photography it reminded me a little bit of film photography um, because same there you really have to come up with the composition in your head and then you have to trust your gut before you take an image and you just have to hope and pray that it will turn out the way you envisioned it um, the way you wanted it and that can lead to frustration and I think Time is key in pinhole photography, um, not only for the longer exposures, um, but also for yourself to develop as an artist. And that was, for me, the most um, beneficial experience to understand in a way that I was using all these rules can only be compared to a hero a story. Me. I started basically with a huge fascination to let go of new all products. the rules that I had. Then I got really frustrated. I almost didn't want to use it anymore. And then eventually I created work that was so beautiful and gave me goosebumps. It just stop me and I was like how how did I do it and I started thinking about the whole experience and I realized I could not have done that with a um, traditional lens but please feel free to look for yourself
difficult. I enjoyed the journey and I highly recommend trying it out as a tool for self-development in your photography. Thank you.